Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a student at the University of Alabama in um, the College of Education. So everything is so chaotic right now, especially with um, everyone being quarantined because of the coronavirus. So our class has decided to upload some fun little short lesson plans that um, parents can do with their children. My lesson plan today is going to focus on the topic of snow. So snow is actually soft white pieces of frozen water that fall to the ground from the sky in cold weather. There are many different books on the topic of snow that you can read with your child. I've got a few right here. Here's one called There Was a Cold Lady Who Swallowed Some Snow. The Mitten. And here's one called The Snowy Day. I'm going to actually be reading The Snowy Day to you and your child. The Snowy Day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking the snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, right on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, or at least not yet. So he made a smiling snowman, and then he made snow angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and then put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she shook off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together in the deep, deep snow.
the end. Okay, so I thought that it would be really fun for us to actually make our own snow today. We are going to be making our snow with some things that I feel like are in pretty much every household. The first thing is conditioner for your hair. And the second thing is baking soda. So I've actually already measured out the baking soda and the conditioner. And I've got my bowl and my little um, mixing thing right here. So I'm going to pour two cups of baking soda in my bowl. I'm going to put one cup of conditioner. All right, and then I'm just going to mix this all up. And it is fun for the kids to um, mix it up with their hands. I just personally don't want it on my hands until it's all mixed up. So I figured that since we don't get snow in Alabama, um, this would be fun, you know, just to let the kids kind of experience a snow day with pretend snow. And once everything is all mixed up, it's going to look like this. And it's going to have kind of a snowy um, cons consistency. And kids can play with it, they can ball it up, they can make snowballs, they can just have fun with it, and you guys can get something done. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that this uh, lesson plan comes in handy for you and your family. Thank you.